Welcome back to the video guys, my name is Everletcher and today I am back with a Pixel Gun 3D video. I am actually very excited to get today's video out to you guys because of just what I figured out. We've been having so many ghost buffs in Pixel Gun 3D and I'll get into more info on that in just a minute. Real quick, I want to say there is going to be another hidden weapon in today's video so make sure you just watch to the very end and keep an eye out for that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically every single video we hide a weapon somewhere on the screen so it's up to you, the viewer, to find out where that is. And once you find it, if you find it, go to the comment section, comment down below where you found it and what weapon it is. The first person to find it will get pinned. But if you do edit your original comment, it will be disqualified, so you can't edit your comments. And for my second announcement, if you guys are interested in Call of Duty, whether it's Call of Duty Mobile, Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, uh, Cold War, Modern Warfare 2019, or if you're just really excited for Modern Warfare 2021, as I am, then make sure you go down in the description and check out my second channel, which is 100% about Call of Duty news. I haven't done a whole lot of uploads there yet, but I definitely plan on getting a lot more out there. So uh, make sure you just check that out if you're interested in Call of Duty. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop right into this video so we've been getting a lot of ghost buffs in pixgun 3d recently and not a lot i guarantee you there's a lot but i found two specifically that just really interest me if you do not know what a ghost buff is essentially it's whenever the developers buff something without telling anybody and lots of other games do this i know epic games does a lot with fortnite but uh, for the most part games tell people like activision they never go they never do buffs without letting the players know that they just buff something so at some it's really crazy pixguns tends to be off and on without telling us when things are buffed but for these two weapons, I am actually very shocked to see that these things were actually buffed and we weren't told about it. So with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and hop right into this. So the first one is going to be the big one you guys can tell from the title and the thumbnail. The ultimatum was actually buffed in Pixagon 3D, which is actually crazy. And no, I, I'm, not, I'm not even joking. I'm not joking. So please like you might be mad about this or you might absolutely love it but the ultimatum was buffed and i'm going to do another video later on uh, explaining why i think it was buffed without even telling us but basically the way i know this thing is buffed is because i was actually testing weapons for a video yesterday and i was wearing no modules i was testing it on level 65 developer armor i like i said i had no modules on it and i had no wear items to give me any extra damage so this is literally going to be the worst version of the weapon possible and the ultimatum was still doing 200 plus damage to the head and the body to these people and uh we were all shocked that was that was a huge shock and since the ultimatum is doing 200 plus to the head and the body it's literally going to be broken once we have modules actually put on it which i'm actually scared to see that um you're gonna be seeing gameplay right now and uh that's without any modules on it so if it's really good i'm hoping it's really good i haven't recorded it yet but if it is really good just know that's without modules on it so with modules it's going to be even better than this which is just scary so yeah the ultimatum had a ghost buff in pixgun 3d and the way that i know it was a ghost buff is because last time i tested the ultimatum with no modules on it it was like a three shot body and a two shot head and it was absolutely terrible with no modules on it. And the fact that it's a one-shot head and a one-shot body with no mods on it. Keep in mind, modules are like the thing that you have to have modules on your weapons in today's Pixel Gun 3D. Because modules are just that important. And I know there's lots of content creators and lots of players who will back me on that. Modules are really important. And the fact that the ultimatum is a one-shot head and body with no mods is just scary. But that's not the only weapon we actually had a buff to. We actually had one other weapon that I found that had a ghost buff to it. And uh, let's just go ahead and hop right into that one. So this other weapon is another shotgun. It is the Chicka Boom. The Chicka Boom is really good. It was one of the best shotguns in the game, and it still is one of the best shotguns in the game, especially because it just had a ghost buff recently. And just like the last one, it was tested on developer armor. I had no modules on it. I had nowhere items to make it better. So this is what the stats were right here. It had a body shot of 122 damage, which is nothing too great. But when you actually keep in mind that there's literally no modules on it, you're, you're kind of wondering how p is this going to be with level six mods and how absolutely broken is it going to be when you have level x mods on it like that just seems kind of crazy that, that's not too high right there but when you get the headshot damage this thing is 195 damage to the head which is absolutely crazy like absolutely crazy and um if you actually think about it that's not a one shot kill you have to have 200 damage to actually have a one shot kill but this thing has damage every time you reload. So if you reload right beside them, that small reload damage is enough to actually finish them off. So it's essentially a one shot kill with no modules if you stretch it a little bit. But uh, with modules on it, I guarantee you this thing is going to be absolutely insane. 
And uh, if you have it, start using it. So just let me know what you think about that right there. Like I said, lots of people are going to like this. Lots of people are going to hate this. So comment down below what you guys think about these ghost buffs. That's actually all I have for you guys today. So it is a little bit of a shorter video, but let me know what you think about that. Like I said, I'm going to be getting a video out soon explaining why I think we're having ghost buffs recently, because I would have thought that with weapons like this, especially with the ultimatum, we would, we should have been told that these things are buffed. So I'm going to have a video out soon explaining why I think we weren't told they were buffed and why they were actually buffed. So uh, if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you'll be notified whenever I actually make that video. That should be out in about two days. With that out of the way, though, I hope you guys all have a very blessed day. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And um, yeah, check out my Call of Duty channel down below and my Discord server if you want to check that out as well. If you found any other weapons that were ghost buffed, let me know, please. In the, either in the description, I mean the comment section, not the description because you can't edit there. Either let me know in the comment section or let me know on my discord server because uh that can be found down below because uh, i'm actually i know for a fact there's other weapons that were ghost buffed just these are the only two that i've tested so far and uh these ones are insane with that out of the way hope you guys all had a very blessed day i will see you guys next video and goodbye